Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mikey Millions here. In this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to take on the Robin Hood 3K Challenge. And if you're wondering why you've never heard of that before, it's because it's not a real thing. This is just something I made up. But nevertheless, I'm going to take on the Robin Hood 3K Challenge. And if I am successful, we're talking major tendies. So what the heck am I talking about? Let's check it out. So the 3K Challenge is gonna work like this. The first rule is I'm going to trade on Robinhood starting with $3,000. I chose Robinhood because a lot of you guys like Robinhood for some reason. I don't really like it, but I opened up an account so I can get one free stock just for fun. And then I decided to take on this challenge. And I chose to start with 3K because that's just how much money I felt like starting with. And it seemed like a good round number to pick. The second rule is that I'm going to focus on Theta Gang strategies. That means lots of cash covered puts when I have money and lots of covered calls if my puts get assigned. I might occasionally break this rule and buy options when I'm feeling particularly confident, but by and large, we're focusing on selling options instead in order to gain premium. Third rule, I must reinvest all premiums into stocks or options. The goal here is to build a portfolio starting off with 3K, and that means spending the premiums on new positions rather than withdrawing it into my bank. And the fourth rule is, I'm going to show you all of my trades regardless of whether they are wins or losses. And because of that, I invite you guys to join me on this 3K challenge. I definitely don't recommend making the same trades as me because this probably isn't going to work out, but you can at least get a taste of how some of these Theta Gang strategies work. As you might tell, these rules aren't really hard and fast. I'm kind of just making them up as I go along. So this is probably going to take on a life of its own. But without further ado, let's get into it and check out my plan of attack in week one. So it's September 30th, 2019, and here's my Robinhood account. As you can see, there's just over $3,000 in it because I deposited three grand, and then I sold the free stock that I got for signing up. And what we're gonna do here for week one is check out my favorite meme stock, and that's AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. AMD is trading just below its recent range of about $29 to $31. So I think this is a good opportunity to open up the options chain and sell some puts. Remember, we've got $3,000 sitting in cash. That means that anything we sell below the $30 strike will be a cash covered put. Right now it's trading at around $29, so I think this is a good strike to go for. And let's check out our premium here. It's gonna offer us around $61, and the option expires at the end of the week. So let's go ahead and put in an order to sell one cash covered put on AMD at a strike of 29, we're asking for $61 in premium. What I do like about Robinhood is that it lays it all out right here. This is exactly what we're signing up for. The obligation to buy 100 shares at the strike and we're gonna receive premium for doing so. This is a textbook cash covered put. Now I'm gonna pause the trading video here for a minute to show you my rationale on why I chose a long position in AMD. Fundamentally, I like how the company is expanding its market share, especially against Intel and Nvidia, which are its two biggest competitors. Secondly, it's actively improving its product each quarter. And I think we're going to see some of the results of that on Wednesday when Microsoft shows off its new tablets that we expect to feature AMD chips. Third, it has a positive earnings per share, which means the company is actually making money, unlike a lot of other tech companies like Tesla. Finally, AMD has an awesome CEO. You gotta love Beisu. But on the technical side, this is probably not the best time to go long AMD. The RSI appears to be going flaccid. You can see here it's down to 36 and trending down further. Really, you want to get in when it's up above 50 and trending higher. Further, you've got the 200-day moving average down here at about $27. That's probably going to act as support, so 27 might be a much better entry point than the 29 we're at now. And lastly, we've got the MACD's signal line down below the MACD line, which means we are not seeing a whole lot of positive momentum right now out of AMD. So based on all that, I'll admit that I'm not really feeling that great about this trade. I'm probably going to give it about a 4 out of 10 chance of succeeding, but I'm going to trade it anyway because I might be wrong and I'm just really excited about starting the 3k challenge. So let's make this happen. We're going to lock in this trade and then wait to get filled. So to skip the waiting game, I'll tell you where it actually got filled. We kept the $29 strike price, but we had to reduce the premium down to $59 in order to get filled. Our basis now is $28.41, so we're going to root for this thing to be above $28.41 by Friday. A couple days have passed since we made this trade. It's October 2nd, and we'll do a midweek update. So AMD had a pretty crappy day along with the rest of the market. It's down to 28.30, which is 19 cents below our basis. At 10 a.m., Microsoft started an event to show off its new tablets, and the market largely expected that the tablets would use only AMD chips. You can see that AMD started rising right after the event kicked off, up until 10.25, when Microsoft announced that it would use both AMD 
and Intel chips in its new tablets, which is not what the market wanted. Within the next 10 minutes, AMD dropped back down to its pre-event price. So our put contract now looks like this. The going rate is $89, which is $30 higher than what we sold it at. It could have been a lot worse. At one point, these contracts were going for $111, but even at the low of the day, it was still trading for $0.09 cents up above our selling price. Scrolling down to look at the details, you can see that we are currently down $30 on this trade, but don't let this negative 50% scare you. Remember, we didn't buy puts, we sold them which means that we didn't really lose 50%. All we did was miss out on an additional 50% that we could have had. Because these are cash covered puts, we are expecting assignment. And that means that sometimes you will miss out. And don't forget that we still get to keep the $59 that we initially sold this contract for. And with that premium, we can essentially buy two shares of AMD just with that premium. And down here you can see just as proof that I had to cancel the 61 order and instead get filled at $59. The overall account now looks like this. You can see we lost $22 today. But remember, if we had just bought shares, we would have lost $45. Since we had sold puts, we didn't suffer the full decrease of stock price. All right, guys, today's the big day. Let's check out how this trade turned out. Friday ended up being a great day for AMD, and the upward price movement really helped out our trade. AMD did make me a little bit nervous at one point when it started dropping into the negative territory. However, the stock recovered and didn't drop down again until J-Pow started talking in the middle of the afternoon. But overall, the stock recovered once more and ended the day here at 29.01. That's just one cent above our strike price, which means we won't get assigned and we didn't miss out on any upward movement in the stock. The contract screen now looks like this. It says here that the contract is still worth $4, but if we scroll down a little bit, we can see affirmatively that we sold for 59 and it looks like we bought it back for $0 when the put expired. I don't use Robinhood very often, but I assume that once that posts, it means we absolutely will not get assigned. After week one of the Robinhood 3K challenge, we are now at $3,068.98. By selling that put, we have boosted our account value by almost 2%. Now that we've realized that $59 premium, we've got to refer to rule three. We must spend this money on stock or options. And I have an idea. We are gonna use that $59 of premium to buy two shares of AMD. It's almost like getting free shares but we don't necessarily want to use a market order. So instead we're going to go up here and change over to a limit order to make sure that we're getting the right price. So we're going to buy at $29 and we are going to select two shares of AMD and we'll flip it over to good till canceled to make sure that we get filled. And you can see the estimated cost here is $58. That's just below the amount of money that we collected in premium. We can go ahead and let it execute after hours. That's fine. Now let's review our order and we are all set. Let's make this happen. So to very quickly recap week one, we sold one AMD put at a $29 strike and collected $59 in premium. AMD ended the week at $29.01. As a result, we collected the full premium of $59. We did not get assigned. We used the collected premium to place a buy order for two shares of AMD at $29. That's gonna cost us 58 out of the $59 we collected in premium. And overall, our account value is up just under 2% to $3,068.98. If AMD's price holds steady through the weekend, then our plan for next week is to sell a $29 put and collect about $68 in premium. That would bring our account value up by an additional 2.2%. It's more than most Wall Street bets people make in their entire careers. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll follow me on the Robinhood 3K Challenge. Comment and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe, and I will catch you next week. Thanks for watching.